All right, let's build a comic for Playdate with Panels. So Panels is a framework I built for making comics for Playdate, and it handles all the sequence layout and parallax scrolling and animation effects that you might want to do. To make a comic with this framework, we just need to provide some Lua files that describe the structure of our comic, along with, of course, the artwork for our comic. I've used this to make a couple of comics already, one of those comics is this very short demo comic called Illumination. This is free to download on itch. You can sideload it onto your playdate and get a sense of what kinds of things you can build with this panels framework. So we can take a look at that game really quickly. So I've got some panels here that I can scroll through. These are layered, so they scroll with a parallax effect. It gives a nice sense of depth. There's some animations and transitions, some effects like blinking. And then I also have sequences in here that go horizontally left to right and some sequences that go vertically. And later in the comic, there are even some panels that are fully interactive that have like a little mini game that I can interact with. And there's even a link here on the itch page that goes to the full source for this comic. So you can take a look at that if you want and see how I created that comic. And I'm also going to be using this game as the project in these tutorials as well. So I'll be covering some of how this was made in these videos. A couple prerequisites before we get started. First, you should have the Playdate SDK already set up. That means that you've downloaded it from Panic, you've installed it on your machine, and you've verified that you can build and run one of the example projects. If you are able to do that, that means you probably have your coding environment set up and working how you like it. That could be Nova or VS Code or something else. It shouldn't really matter, but I'm not going to cover any kind of that setup for basic Playdate development, so make sure you have that working before you try to jump into making a panels comic. Okay, so let's get started now. I'm going to start here on the panels GitHub repo. This is where the code for the framework lives, and there's a link here to the full documentation site along with some basic setup instructions. And the way I recommend you start is by using this template project. So this is actually a separate repository that contains the panels repo as a git submodule. Don't worry about that if you don't know what that means. This repo is also a template repo. So if you're a GitHub user, you can just click use this template and it will copy this whole project with the panel submodule to a new repo for your project. That's all pretty straightforward Git and GitHub stuff. So if you're a Git person, I think you can probably figure that out. But what if I'm not a Git person? I don't want to deal with repos and submodules and all that. I just want to make a comic. In that case, I can still use this template just by downloading the code and forgetting about all the Git stuff. So I'll just go here under the code button and choose download zip. If I go to my downloads folder, I get this zip file as promised. And when I unzip that, I get a folder with all the code for the template project. First thing I'll do is rename this panels project template main folder to my project name, which is illumination. And let's look at what's in this project. So I have a source folder here that has some Lua files for my game. It has a folder of examples here. And it also has some images for those examples and some audio files that are used in those examples. What this doesn't actually have is the panels library. If I go to this panels folder, you can see there are no files here. So if I had cloned this project repo with Git, I could have automatically included the panels library as a submodule, as I said. But since I didn't use Git, I just downloaded this from the web, I have to add the panels library manually, which is not a problem. It's pretty easy to do. I just need to go back 
to the panel's repo, download the code as a zip, just as I did with the project template. I'll unzip that, and then I'm just going to move everything in this folder into the panels folder in my project template. So my project should look like this now. I have my main project folder. Inside that I have my source folder, libraries, panels, and here are all the files for the panels library. And that's it. Now I should be ready to run. So I'm going to open this main project folder in my editor. I'm going to use VS Code, but you can use your preferred editor. I'll build this project using the PDC command. If everything worked, I should get a PDX here in my project folder, and I can double click that to run it in the simulator. Now that we're all set up, let's take a look at what's actually in this project template. First, let's look at this main.lua file. So this is the main file that gets run first when your project starts. There's not a lot going on here because in our project, most of the game logic is handled by the panels library. In fact, if I took out all these comments and examples, there would be even less going on here. But this is an important file for us. This is where we need to import the panels library. Again, make sure you put those library files inside the library's panels folder. This is also where we import files for our game credits and our comic data. The comic data is what actually defines all the images and panels and animations that make up our comic. So that's a pretty important file there. I can also define some general settings for how I want my comic to behave. And finally, this one very important line where I give panels the comic data for my comic and tell it to start. Without this line, you won't see anything happening when you launch your game. I've also got a few folders in this project. So I've got folders for some audio files, some image files that I'll use in my game. And there's also a folder here that contains a bunch of data files for the examples included with this template. So let's take a look at those examples. Each one of these numbered files contains the data for a single sequence in this example comic. So this is basically a list of panels, and each panel contains a list of layers that tells which image to use and how to position it. And then this comic data file just collects all those individual files into a single list of sequences. This will end up being the list that I send to panels to build the full comic. So back in my main file, I'll comment out these two lines where I import the comic data for my new game, and instead import the comic data for those examples that we just looked at. Now, if I build my game again and run it in the simulator, I can see those five example sequences showing up as chapters in my comic. Each one of these corresponds to one of those data files. So if we look at these examples, there's not really a story here. These are just meant to demonstrate the kinds of things you can do in a panels comic, like parallax layers, animations, audio, etc. So it might be a good idea at this point to look at these example files, poke around a bit and see if you can correlate what's in the data files with what's happening in the comic and the simulator. But I'm not going to use these examples for my comic. I want to start fresh. So I'm going to delete these files and clean this project up a bit. That means I can get rid of this entire examples folder and also the examples subfolders in the audio folder and the images folder. And since those are gone now, I need to make sure I switch back my main file to use my fresh comic data file instead of the comic data from those examples. 
I'm going to do one more thing before we move on because I don't want to have to keep manually building and running my game every time I test it. So I'm going to add some settings to VS Code that let me build and launch my game in the simulator with a keyboard shortcut. And now when I want to test something, I just need to press Command R to build and launch my game. If you're on a Mac, you can use my settings to do that. I have them in another GitHub repo. There are similar templates that do this for other platforms. Or you can use Panic's Nova app, which has a nice built-in action for build and run. And I think that's it. Now we're all set up and ready to start making our comic.